hey guys and welcome back to my channel if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel comment like and subscribe this video so youtube can push out my video to other users who may be interested in this type of content and today we are going to london town my phone is ringing <laughs> i'll talk to you guys when i get in the car <laughs> hey guys and good afternoon from London I did not vlog I did not pick up my camera after like, I was on the phone talking to my friend like I don't I don't talk to her often like via the telephone like we usually just text or send memes through Instagram so when we do talk on the phone we're on the phone for like hours so yeah I didn't vlog and then I was running late to the airplane so yeah I didn't pick up the camera um not one time so I do apologize about that but I did made it to London and the time is 320 right now and um yeah i'm gonna go out i am not going to do a lot um i do want to get back here because the gym is open here at the hotel and i am so excited i'm gonna show you guys around the room and i've been coming to london for years now years and i've never been to buckingham palace so i'm not a big fan of the monarchy but hey a lot of people aren't a big fan of the president that we had in the US okay so I get it I totally get it anyway it is a historical house and it's an occupied house at that so I am I'm just gonna do a little um, drive-by walk through and then I'm gonna go to a restaurant that Lorna Lex I don't know if you follow her on Instagram but I love her she recommended a restaurant it's like one of her favorite restaurants I think it's pronounced Chichino's Cicino's I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna say Cicino's. It's an Italian restaurant and I just wanna go there for some like truffle pasta, rose, and this could possibly be the last time I'm in London. Who knows, like I, this is my last trip of the month because I have not built my schedule um, for the rest of August. So we'll see, everything is literally, we'll see. Everything's like up in the air. But yeah, Buckingham Palace, I need to say that I've seen it. It's almost like, to me, I just feel like, yes, it's very touristy, but it's almost like if you're, if you live in like New York, New Jersey, you're from there and people are like, oh my God, have you been to the Statue of Liberty? Like, it's very rare. I don't, I don't think I've ever still to this day have met like a local, like born and raised, bred, you know, New Jerseyan or a New Yorker. And they're like, yeah, of course. I, you know, of course I've been like, Maybe they've been when they were younger, but it's not something that, now I feel like it's the same here in London, in in, in the UK, you know? You're like, oh my God, have you been to Buckingham Palace? Or just like, I mean, yeah, kind of. I don't know, it's like, I feel like it's just one of those houses. It's just one of those places where you're just like, yeah, long time ago, drive past it, don't think nothing of it. Because you, because you see it every day, right? I mean, the Statue of Liberty, you don't see every day, but like you can pass it on the Pulaski Skyway and, um, you know, the Statue of Liberty is in New Jersey. A lot of people think that it's in New York. It's not. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Um, I'm going to show you my outfit, and then I'm going to show you my room, and then we're going to get out of here. I'm going to get some nice B-roll footage, and then if I have something to say, then I'll just talk to y'all, okay? <laughs> really quickly. I don't know if you can see the lighting. I don't know if it's best to... Let me see if I can zoom in. These slacks, guys, are actually from H&M. I call them faux slacks. I don't know if you can see, let me. Yeah, so it is kind of hard to really see the slacks, but they do have like a light sheen to them. Like they aren't matte, even though they kind of look matte on camera. But they do, they have a slight um, sheen to them. And I call them a faux, a faux slack because these, there's only two loop loopholes here in the front which makes it look like you know you could put a belt there but you really can't put a belt there because it's like um elastic back here and there is no belt loop loops in the back and then um here is like a faux i don't know if you can see faux like zipper like there's no zipper here it's a fake pant like there's no zipper um there's no like nothing so yeah that's really cute these pants these are a UK 10, which is like a US size 6, and they fit nice, they go right at the angle, and they're so cute with like flats, tennis shoes, some mules, sling back heels, but I just have one 
I haven't worn these bad boys in so long. These are my Chanel Espadrilles and they, ooh, man. When these are not broken in, oh man, they they do hurt a little bit, but I pulled them out. It looks like they it looks like they've never been worn. And then um of course I just have on like just a sweater from Zara because y'all know Zara is my store and uh yeah, it's 70 degrees here. So I knew to bring this like light I need to bring this light sweater. Man, the lighting's so bad out here, guys. I'm so sorry. Anyway, uh this is the bathroom. And that missing a new thing. I have my makeup, my brush right here. Um, shower, bathtub, nothing, wardrobe. And I just have my uniform hung up in there. My heels down there at the bottom. Fridge, fridge, kettle pot, coffee, tea for you. I have my ceviche in here. And I have Diet Coke. Uh, yeah, this is the room. <laughs> Nothing fancy at all. I took a nice, long, beautiful nap. I did not sleep on the flight during my break. And they are being extra, extra cautious. There's a seal out in the front door. I'll, I'll show you guys when I leave here. But just the desk, um, another mirror. The window, I don't have a view, which is why it seems so dark outside. It's 326, my luggage, water, the bed. Yeah, not much to it, right? Your typical um, hotel room. But yeah, that's my view. <laughs> that's why it seems so dark. It's probably why I got some really good sleep too because I didn't have the sun um, blaring in my face. So let's go to this historic house, what I call it, Buckingham Palace. When I was driving into London, a lot of people didn't have a mask. I think the only people that I saw with masks on was people who were riding on public transportation. Like in New York and in New Jersey, I'm not even really, I'm, I'm comparing because I just, I'm just here and I see it, but it's like in New Jersey and in New York, it's like people are wearing their masks outside as a common courtesy, I guess because it's so populated. Uh, you can even say it's like a little over populated in a sense that you know, you're bound to walk past somebody at it, at any given time, any given moment um, when you're out there. So, I don't know. I just, we'll see. Like, I'm not, I'm not judging because trust me, I can't, I'm not, I, I can't, I'm not judging one and I'm only comparing because I'm just all over the place. I'm a flight attendant. So, <laughs> anyway, I am rambling. Shut up, Ashley. Jesus. All right, let's get out of here. You guys see the London Eye over there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's over there. Always bring an umbrella when you're going on a London layover, okay? Because a mask does not protect you from the rain. This lovely tree is, thank God. But look at this, look at this. It's like torrential downpour. It's not torrential downpour, but you know what I mean. 
I'm totally joking, but yeah, this tree right now is saving my life. Oh. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> Dinner here at um, Cicciones. That's how I'm pronouncing it, okay? So I'm like three glasses of wine in. <laughs> and I had the lobster spaghetti and then I had the burrata and tomatoes for a dessert. My hair is like really wavy because of the rain. And then I just ordered a cappuccino and tiramisu. So yeah, I feel really good. Do you want to go shopping? I would totally recommend um, Sichonis. Um, right now they aren't doing paper menus, which is like quite typical. I've been out like two or three times and they're literally just doing like menus like this, the QR code. So you just take your phone and then take a picture of the QR code. But yeah, I got caught in the rain. So I will forever always like carry a mini umbrella with me. But look how cute this place is. Look how cute, seriously, look. <laughs> Look at the floor, it's so pretty. <sighs> so yeah, cappuccino, tiramisu, and then I'll probably go back to the hotel and work out um, on this full. Thank you so much. <laughs> Maybe I'll do some more walking because right now I only have 5,000 steps. If I get to 10,000, then I don't have to do cardio and I can just do weights. I forgot my um, workout shoes. So thank you so much. I forgot my workout shoes, so I'm not gonna show myself working out because I'm gonna look a hot mess. <laughs> but look at my tear in the suit. So pretty. I'll see you guys later. I'll try to get some more B-roll footage for you guys, okay? <laughs> to my room and fell asleep. I didn't get back in touch with you guys 
at all. <laughs> I do apologize about that, but I am on the airplane. I am getting ready to leave London and going back to Newark. So pretty much yesterday, all I did was I went to Buck Buckingham Palace, as you guys saw, and it was lovely. And then I ended up taking an Uber to Sessionals, as you guys saw, the Italian restaurant. And then I just walked around Bond Street and I went into Zara and I bought a, um, a bodysuit that I'll show you guys. And also too with my liquids, I thought that my liquids, um, I thought my liquids were gonna be able to fit in the quart size bag. And I didn't, so I ended up having to check my la check my bag and pretty much get my life together so i do apologize for the lack of communication but nothing really uh went down honestly and if this was my last london trip then i'm totally happy with how everything went but um i do have the rest of the month off like i told you guys and i am still looking for um another trip for the rest of the month i would like to get in at least like 40 plus more hours so we shall see and you know since there is a lack of trips i've been spending like a lot of my time on ccs which i'm not sure when these vlogs will go up like i don't have um as much time to edit unless i'm on unless i have a trip and i'm on a layover but like for tomorrow i have to stock this is i have to stock the system for hours in order to get a trip so wish me luck but i'll check back in with you guys later <laughs> <clears throat> All right, guys, sorry, I had to eat my food. <laughs> my ceviche. So, this is the Dream Liner um, 787 10. It's pretty big. Um, the flight time today is six hours and 55 minutes, which is pretty fast because you guys know the Dream Liner is just a fast plane and it's smooth and it's quiet and it's lovely. And yeah, I am in work working aircraft left on the meal cart. I'm the bottom of the bar cart. I'm top of the meal cart. And um, since we are staffed to minimum crew, there are only eight flight attendants. And it's a very, very light load. So not a lot of people going back into the US. I'm gonna sit down. Because right now it's the waiting game and I'm going to... I smell like onions right now. Straight onions. But alrighty guys. But that's all that I have to report. I will see you guys when I land. I'll give you a little recap when I get home. So, toodles. <laughs> I'm back home from my trip. It was an easy flight, right? A short flight, but there was this just one particular family on the flight um, that just, they didn't give us trouble. They were just, they just, never settled down um their kids had never um that was like their first airplane ride ever i think or something like that and it was just very very demanding <laughs> but anyway like i promised i said i was going to show you guys my um zara body sh zara body suit that i got because it's so cute and i figured that this is going to be like a perfect fall but yeah look how beautiful and it's see through so it looks like a corset and then this is like what kind of material is this just like stretchy material can you guys see that not really huh there it is and the light it's like mesh. Let me hold it up. I got it in a size medium. Let's see. You guys can see. There it is. How pretty. Uh, it's so pretty. I know I'm not doing it justice, but and then it clips at the bottom. Two snaps. I think it's so pretty. And I think this is a great fall piece. I'm also really debating on getting my nails done. I'm just really enjoying my, my natural nails at the moment. And just letting them grow and break and grow and break so i figured it's just part of the healing process maybe get like a gel mani i'm not sure but look how exhausted 
I look right now. So, okay, like I told you guys, my line is clear for the rest of the month, okay? And um, I'm exhausted because I didn't get any sleep last night. Like, I got, I, my Fitbit told me I got 90 minutes of sleep throughout the night. And when I got into London initially, I slept about five hours and 45 minutes. That's a little, that's, that's, a, that's a long nap. And I slept that long because I didn't um, take a nap on the flight. And I didn't take a nap the day that I left either. So I'm debating on if I should take a nap now. And you know, if I put on a movie, I fall asleep, I fall asleep. The problem is, is that I have to stock our community trip trading system and look for a trip for the rest of the month. Now, if this was regular operations, like if this was last year, like I wouldn't have to do this, like this longevity of like stocking for hours and hours on end. If this was regular operations, I could just, um, go in, search for something for like 20 minutes, get a trip, and then call it a day. Since there aren't any flights, you just have to keep stalking to look for something. And I just don't want to accept anything or take anything. Like I did really well with my domestic stuff. It was just the LA trip where I worked both legs, but my other two domestic turns was just to work one leg dead head back. Like I, I just want to get a lot of hours, but not kill myself. So I'm gonna do whatever my body wants to do. A lot of good trips come in late at night, like after midnight. Oh, my battery's dying from like midnight to 2 a.m. So I don't know if that's even going to go down and I need to get a massage. And if I get one, I'll take you guys with me. But I am going to end this vlog here. I'm going to unthaw some chicken and I'm going to unthaw some broccoli and I'm going to eat that and be a good girl since I've been doing, I've been doing well. I had two cheat days. I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> So yeah, I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one whenever I get a trip or if anything fun happens. <laughs> Bye.